The latest item has arrived in the post. No, it's not the dog. It's a new steering wheel. Now this was a bit of a bargain, if I'm honest. Um, I am a bit of a fan of updating or replacing steering wheels when you've got a high mileage car, just because they get so shiny and knackered from the amount of miles they've been through. And it's the most tactile place that you touch the car. I just like to have a um, nice steering wheel. So I managed to get hold of this. It's got much nicer condition leather. It should be the right steering wheel to be a direct replacement for mine. And then all we've got to do is replace all of the stuff that goes on there. Got the two control modules that go on there, the trim at the bottom, obviously the airbag at the very end. And it's the right model to put shifters on. Make sure if you're doing a replacement there that it is the right kind of wheel. Because uh, if it doesn't have the space for the shifters, then you've got some, <laughs> you've got some cutting to do. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Okay, so in the car now. There is nothing wrong with this steering wheel other than it shows the most sign, I'd say, of everything in the car that it's had a hard life. And uh, I just don't like touching it, you know? It's, um, it's a bit grim. And we've been busy removing the grim things from this car. So um, it's coming off. And if I get in, just briefly and show you the difference. There's the old wheel. There's the new wheel. I mean, it's not a new wheel, it's a used wheel, but uh, it's a far less used wheel than the one that's on. Now, what must we always, always, always do before messing about with the SRS components? It's disconnect the battery. So, I'm gonna get in, disconnect the negative terminal there, and I'm gonna leave it for a good amount of time, something like 15, 20 minutes even, perhaps, um, is a good amount of time just to let the system discharge completely and uh, then it is safe to start working on anything that involves airbags okay I've just started removing the airbag you can see it's just started to release but it's not free yet the release hole there's only one it's just here right in the center at the back of the wheel i'll show you how it releases once i get this off but there are two pins that hold it in place, one here, one here, and a central wire that connects them both. So you need to push that to release both. And I've released one side, so I just need to press it again and the whole thing should pop out and we'll get it out. Okay, with the airbag removed, just to show you what's going on inside here, because it all gets a bit confusing. The airbag is held in place here and here by two locating pins on the back which you can see here and here. These springs keep it pushed in place as well. So these are little hooks, and these little hooks hook around this bit of uh, like coat hanger wire here. And it's released by a single release point. I know some of the F-series steering wheels have a release point here and a second release point there for each side, probably because this design is a bit of a ball ache. So this point down here, is where you can see my screwdriver just coming in. That's it just there, see it? And what you've got to aim to do is get your screwdriver onto the bottom of that and push it up. And that's where the jiggery pokery happens because it's a bit of a fiddle to get your screwdriver to sit squarely on the bottom. Partly because the hole is very narrow. That's why I've got an electrician screwdriver because the, uh, I don't know if you can see, the hole that they allow you is only just wide enough to get this kind of screwdriver in. This screwdriver's actually broken because I snapped the tip on it a little while ago, but I thought that might help. Okay, so mine actually just released pretty easy just there. Um, it's a 16 mil socket on the end of a short extension. And uh, yeah, I just give it a bit of a tug and, uh, and it's released. So I'm gonna release that and undo it by hand now. And then the wheel should just come off. Wheel off. Actually, if you look at the splines uh, around the edge of the, uh, the hub here, there is a locator 
right in the centre, so uh, it can't go back on at the wrong angle by the looks of this one. Okay, back in the warmth of the house. Wheel is here, and it's handy to have the new wheel with the bits taken off there because we can see where the screw holes are for stuff. Uh, having never disassembled a BMW steering wheel before, I'm just learning this as I go. So, first things I can see is a Torx bolt there and a Torx bolt there, which are gonna take off presumably the paddle shifters, and then we'll see what else uh, we can get off by comparing with the other one here. Okay, let's do that. So a little point just on this as I'm dismantling the wheel. The shifter for the left-hand side has come off and there are two plugs on there. One of them goes into this socket, which is run across the top and it connects to the plus paddle, which I'm just about to take off. And the other socket that the black cables go into is this one here, which goes off to this central part here, which then goes off to the, the other things in the wheel. So that's just uh, something to remember for reassembly. Okay, the two control modules each side. There's a screw straight in the back of the wheel that you can get straight to. There it goes, once you've released that, these just wiggle out of place and then there's just a wire that runs across the top of the wheel to connect them both. So I'm gonna pull that out, transfer it over. Okay, that's the old wheel. They literally lifted straight off and they just push straight back in, so that's all I've done, I haven't fixed them yet. There's two plastic locators, so they just slide right into the rubber positions right there, neat and tidy. And I've just run the cable across the top. Now just trying to fit the bolt in for those two, and then we can put the lower trim piece, which just pushes straight back on. Uh, I forgot to say on the other one, you just pull it very, very gently, pull it from the bottom and then pull it the sides and uh, the locators and the sort of rubber bits here, they just push, push fit type of thing. So you just have to wiggle them very gently so you don't snap the, the legs off uh, and it'll pull out. So I put that straight back in and then it's time to just run the wires for the paddle shifters across and then we're nearly done. So bottom trim piece is just pushed on. Now uh, inside here, I've just screwed that there is the Torx bolt for the right hand paddle shifter. So that's just screwed back in place. There's a little black tab where the cable comes in. Unfortunately, this piece here, where the cables are run, is nice and bendy. So we can just pull this back, push this, uh, tuck this white cable in, and have it come round here to where it's gonna connect and join up with the left-hand paddle shifter, which has got the two plugs on, if you remember, just there. Okay, the wheel's just a bit wet. I've given it an antibacterial wipe over, just to give it a nice clean off. Same with the uh, the paddle shifters, and just around, uh, that's why it looks a little bit wet, just around the control column. So uh, put the wheel back on. There we go. Let's push this clip back in there. All the other clips are connected. Head back back on. Little pin, big pin. Push the locators into the holes. And a nice little Brucey bonus as well, just while I was finishing off uh, with the steering wheel. The uh, postie has dropped me off this. It's the uh, little plastic thing that covers the uh, the lock stalk, uh, which was missing on the passenger door. Yeah, let's have a look. So here you can see, ever since I bought it, that's been missing. It's the only one. Uh, I ordered it £1.39 from China. Should just go straight on, hopefully. So, just working it down. Push it all the way in. Brilliant. There we go. Right, let's get in the car and turn it on.
Good stuff. No warning lights. Let's just check this. There we go. Great stuff. That works. Let's turn the cruise control on. Brilliant. Cruise control buttons work. Up, down. Yeah, great stuff. Brilliant. Everything works. Should be fine. Paddle shifters. I can't really try them stood still, but I'm sure they'll be working as well. And there we go. Beautiful. Wasn't too long. Pretty straightforward job. Looks a lot nicer. Feels a lot nicer as well. Pretty straightforward, really.